welcome, including dancers. And Norma Miller and I got a preview. Oh, oh wow. Look at this. Yeah. Oh. Yes, this young man that did this. This is Eunice. So, uh, people that you knew? Yes. I can, I can, you can tell who they are. I know Anne. I mean, of course, she didn't wear those kind of socks, but that fan plays any way you look at it. But this is the young man I told you about, Frank Manning, that was really, who, the crown was handed down to him in Lindy Hop. He, he set the style for everything you see on a stage. Oh, I can't wait for Frankie to see this. Wait till he sees that picture. He's going to know it's him. Ah, oh, this is such a beautiful time. <laughs> The Savoy exhibit was created by artist Richard Yard and will be at the Studio Museum in Harlem through the summer. Check it out. At times, you can almost feel the joy of what it was like stomping at the Savoy. This is Carol Jenkins, News 4, New York. Well, the Greenwich Village Jazz Festival is in full swing, and slated to play is Eddie Durham. Thank you, one of the greatest and least known giants of the swing era. A composer, arranger, and father of the electric guitar, Durham created many of the hits of the big band era, and this past week he was honored on his 80th birthday. <laughs> For Count Basie, he composed One O'Clock Jump, Swing in the Blues, Jumping at the Woodside, and many other jazz standards. Okay, let's hit it, boys. For Glenn Miller, he wrote the classic arrangement of In the Mood that has become the anthem of the swing era. And he created other hits for Benny Goodman, Artie Shaw, and Jimmy Lunsford. He is Eddie Durham, and the other night, over 200 friends and fans gathered at St. Peter's Church, the occasion, a musical tribute on Durham's 80th birthday. I feel very happy about it because uh, I love to see the musicians play this kind of music. It's, it's real sensible, you know, and you can understand it. A big band played Durham's music, and musicians sang his praise. He's a real genius who took music that had never been written down before, and he was the first one to take a certain feeling that came out of the Southwest and put it on paper, and the whole success of the Count Basie band and the whole blues thing and the whole electric guitar music, rhythm and blues, it all comes from this man. And I love to play his parts. And he loved to hear me play them. <laughs> so we had something communicative between us, and he's always been a fine fellow to me. Very few people know Eddie Durham. And very few people that know him know what he has done. In fact, I didn't know until the other day that he wrote, uh, I don't want to set the world on fire. The man should have a statue erected to him. But I think that's the way he wanted. Looking back on his long career, Durham is proudest of his arranging. I would like to be remembered as uh, helping to stabilize some of the things that I saw that was all scattered and mixed up, and that's how it was gotten together. I mean, I call myself trying to organize it all over the world, see? You know, it has to be true that music is good for the soul because Eddie looks great. He sure does, and I'm delighted that he got his recognition. Thank you. See you at 11.
after the movie. The swing era ended over 40 years ago, but you wouldn't know it tonight at New York's Cat Club, thanks to the New York Swing Dance Society, which holds big band dances twice a month at the Rock Club. It is Sunday night at the Cat Club, and the New York Swing Dance Society is jumping. An 18-piece band is swinging, and the dance floor is filled with a whole new generation of Lindy Hoppers. Founded a year and a half ago, the Swing Dance Society claims a membership of 300, a mailing list of 2,000, and reverence for a music and dance that thrived a long time ago. The Swing Dance Society was set up to preserve the possibility of dancing to a live big band in a ballroom setting. The swing era had its roots in Harlem in the 1920s. Nightclubs and ballrooms were incubators for a new kind of big band music that inspired a whole new style of dancing. But it wasn't until 1935 when Benny Goodman turned swing into a nationwide craze. It lasted a decade. By the mid-1940s, changing times and fashions sounded the death knell of the swing era. But the spirit survives at the Cat Club. On Sunday nights, there are many veterans of the swing era at the club, and they watch the young dancers with surprise and a critical eye. Well, the young people, they, they just go out there and dance. They don't actually even listen to the music, and that's why they don't get the correct movement. They don't compare, let's put it that way, because there was more feeling when we were dancing. We felt the music more. The nights are dominated by the younger swing fans. Most were born long after the heyday of the big band. I come because I love the music. Every once in a while, somebody bamboozles me into dancing. But... Why? Oh, it's, the energy in this music is unbelievable. I love the music, but I really love the dance. It's much more fun than your standard place to go dancing. Isn't that a nice way to go off the bed? Thank you for staying with us so late this evening. Good night. Have a good week. <laughs>